I'm Meredith from Making Music Magazine and I'm here for the second lesson of how to learn to play the violin. And what we're going to start with this time is some simple stretching exercises. And these are going to be really important because they're going to help you avoid tendonitis, carpal tunnel, and other kinds of injuries that um, come along with playing a lot of instruments, um, but especially violin because we use so many small muscles and tendons in our arms and our wrists and our fingers. So you're going to want to go through this series of exercises for each arm. Stretch out to the side and turn your neck this way. So you're going to do these that I've been showing you for each hand. This one you're gently pulling your fingers back, then bringing your wrist up with a loose fist, then bring your elbow up at a 90 degree angle, bring your arm out to the side with your arm still, your hand still in a loose fist and pointing towards you, and then your arm out to the side again, fingers pointing down, and turn your head to the side. So each of these that I've been showing you, hold them for about 10 seconds or so, but I'll just show you quickly how we run through these. Here we're putting our hands together, facing fingers down. Then bring the palms up together. Still keep your arms flat, parallel to the ground. Now you're gonna keeping, keep the same motion and bring it up over your head. Now bring your hands behind your head, your elbows pointing out. Bring your arms out to the side, your Hands again should be in a loose fist facing down. And finally bring your hands behind your back. Your palms should be flat towards flat parallel with the ground behind your back. So that's those are some simple exercises that you should get used to doing every time that you play so you can avoid an injury.